What's up, Ninbuzz? Hayden here. Um, one of your Pokemon directors for Wi-Fi Battles. Anyways, this is a great fucking game I had against Wild Chase. It's an NU tier match, and I'm leading off with my Tits McGee just because uh, Tits McGee is awesome. And he's got an Armaldo out there, not even nickname. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you thinking, man? It's all about nickname and stuff. So I switch out right off into uh, Slow King just because I want to set up some iron defense. As you most of you know, if you're a competitive Pokemon battler, Slow King is one of the most fucking awesome dudes that has special defense. So if you get a few, maybe one or two uh, physical defense boosts up there, you're gonna be you're gonna be looking great. So I know this Armaldo probably has an X Scissor, which will be super effective against me. So I'm just gonna try to take it away as fast as I can. But he hits me out with a st or he hits me with a Stone Edge, and I'm like, whoa, um, wasn't expecting that. Um, so I'm pretty much in a great position here. Um, he hits me with a Rock Slide now. I get a flinch, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm just going to get flinched up a storm over here. But, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, because he's just going to die to poison eventually. Um, I actually avoid that attack, and then it gives me an opportunity to set up an Amnesia, and uh, that's going to be cool, because now I have plus two special defense and plus two defense. So, basically, he's dealing with a full-on tank right now. I set up another Iron Defense, so now I'm at plus four defense. I've got the defenses of a, of a fucking, like... What, like something that has really good defense is what I'm trying to get across here. So uh, he switches out because he realizes now he's not going to be able to do anything. And he brings in a Skun Tank on my Surf. Um, I know I can't Toxic Skun Tank because it's a Poison type. My Surf does just about under half. And uh, he hits me with an Explosion. The Explosion, uh, God, it, it, it does a lot to me, but it, really nothing at all. Can, like Keeping in mind that uh, it was a... 250 power attack. So I predicted the explosion and I went for the amnesia, which is cool because now I have plus two special defense and plus two defense. So I am just looking fantastic here. He hits me with a T bolt from his Manectric. Not that big of a deal because you just get a toxic to the face and uh, that's going to wear him away a little bit. So I know I, I can live a few more of his T bolts because I'm a monster right now and uh, he hits me with one right in, the, right in the forehead and that hurts and I'm like, shit! So, um, I had to go for a Surf, and, uh, God, I hope it takes it out, and of course it almost takes him out after the Toxic, and I'm like, damn it, I, I was almost on a pretty good streak here with my Slow King, but it looks like it's about time to end that, so that was a pretty good defense kind of situation I was in, and his Manectric also dies to poison, so I took out a, a fair number of his, his teammates with my fucking Slow King, because he's awesome. So I bring in a, a Glaceon as he brings in a Charizard, and I'm like, oh god, that is an awful looking situation. So I hope he would over predict, and I, I stay in and take the Fire Blast. I was kind of thinking he would over predict, because why wouldn't I switch out? But the, the reason why I didn't switch out is because I don't have anything that can take a Fire Blast from a Charizard that probably is holding the choice specs. Anyways, he goes into Armaldo just for Death Fodder as I kill him off with my uh, Lime, the Tauros, with, an, with a Stone Edge. And then, and then I get some leftovers. So now he brings in his own Slow King, and I'm like, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I had a Slow King. What the fuck is this? So I go into Tits McGee, because I know bug type super effective against Ta, the Psychic. And that's going to be cool because, um, but actually, no, it's not actually cool at all. Because he gets me, it gets a Paralyze off on me. I live that with 80 HP after his Surf, and I eventually get him to sleep with my Sleep Powder. Which is cool, because I bring an H-Face. Um, I'm thinking that I'm, it's, about, it's about time to set up some Stealth Rocks, because it's always nice to get some late-game rocks up in here. What the fuck? <laughs> so I pretty much explode all over the place. That's good for me, because his Slow King faints, which probably could have been a pain in the ass for me later on. Anyways, I bring in, um, what's this, a, uh... Kingler, and uh, Kingler's a good matchup against this Charizard. Hits me with a Hidden Power, Electric, and or Grass. Um, I think it might have been Electric, because everyone carries Electric. That sucks Donkey Balls for me, because that's super effective, and it kills me off in one hit. So now my only resort is to go into Lime here. I'm going to be able to outspeed him, because I, uh, I'm a fast-ass little bull-looking guy. And then I kill him off with a return. It would have been nice to keep my Kingler for later, but of course he happened to have the hidden power. So now he brings in his last Pokemon, which is a Zangoose. I know that I can probably save Tauros for an Intimidate later on. I go into Tits McGee for the the uh, the Death Fodder. That gives me time to go into Lime. I'm going to get an Intimidate off, and Intimidate's going to lower his attack by one stage. So I've basically got a plan here. I can hit him with one return and hope to God that his close combat doesn't kill me his return my return he lives it with fucking negative one hp he hits me with a close combat i die and he 
gets his defenses dropped, and then guess what? He dies to life orb damage. So that was a tie. Battle to a draw against Wild Chase. Thank you for the epic game, Wild Chase, and I'll see you guys later.